love, but that one thing, well, this young woman that finds out what she thought was a nice and gentle creature is really the nemesis of her life. <laughs> this is how it says she became a favorite of these little creatures. I hate pigeons. I wasn't always like this. Shabby, kept catching for food on the streets. I was well thought of. As a stockbroker, an up and coming young woman, an internet was with a great future ahead of me. As soon as I got out of college in the Midwest, I came to New York, and right away I got a good job with a multi financial company specializing in internet stocks or IPOs. Only after a few months, I was way to a nice, profitable career. Hey! Don't take that! It's mine! It makes a first so bitter! <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I even got myself a nice, small apartment in Tribeca. It was well laid out and convenient for my work. Expensive. But I could swing it. I couldn't believe my luck. Only a couple of months in New York, and I had a nice job, a nice apartment, but there was something wrong with the apartment. It had a parapet. A parapet right outside my bedroom window. A flat ledge, maybe 12 inches wide. Pigeons, quitters on the parapet. Whenever I was home, I used to hear them all the time, making their cooing noises, raising their squabs, flapping their wings, and depositing their souvenirs everywhere. <laughs> I even fed them. God forgive me. But then more and more would come. I tried everything to try and get them to move away. I make noises. I spray water on them. I even set up some plastic spikes. Whenever I would put them, they would just rise up in a cloud and come back again. <laughs> Nothing worked. They would come every day, and every day there were more and more white splotches on my hair pet. Oh, I was at my husband. I even began thinking of moving out.
she said. If I want to feed the pigeons, I will jolly well feed the pigeons. I know my rights. <laughs> so, I went to a policeman. But he looked at me and I was nuts. Get out of here. You think I don't got any time chasing bad guys? And you want me to stop some day from feeding pigeons? You're out of your mind! After a few weeks of this, I snapped! Oh, I just snapped, I lost it! Nothing but pigeons in my life. Pigeons, pigeons! I couldn't stand this anymore. So, one day when I was surfing the web, I stumbled upon a website of how to make a homemade bomb. <laughs> Instantly, I realized what I had to do. So, I copied the instructions down, and with infinite care, I cobbled together my bomb. Just a small one. Didn't bother with the timer. Then, one day in the morning, after the woman had left with the seed and breadcrumbs, millions of pigeons still eating, I lit my bomb and threw it. Boom! Oh, a miniature made this noise! And it made a kind of gigantic hole in the street. <laughs> millions of pigeons. What's the horror of the incident? I didn't make sense! But I made a mistake. And blowing up the pigeons? I blew myself up too. <laughs> Pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> There's a piece of bread right next to your 